here. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite robot who's a sucker for love's favorite nerd. And today we are looking at the DX9 Power Glide. And this was sent to me by GCI Toys. It's also who I plan to buy this from. So once it comes out, I have to send this back, of course. But uh, if you'd like to buy it from them, uh, you can check the link in the description. I buy from them fairly often, and I have good customer service experience with them, so I definitely uh, recommend them with confidence. That being said, we're going to take a look at this guy, and I do appreciate them sending it to me to take a look. We have this weapon, which I feel like we've seen similar a similar cast of before somewhere. I'm not the best at that sort of thing, but I feel like I've seen this I've seen something similar to this before. Nice silver finish on it, though. And then we have the bot, which we'll go ahead and look at because there's not much to talk about accessory-wise. I'm hoping that maybe more accessories come with. So he also comes with a mask for the Hoist Goes to Hollywood mask, I think, and then an also the little chick that he fell in love with. But that wasn't included in the box, so instead here's a look at a cute otter. The head is actually on a hinge swivel, which is nice. So you get the swivel, you get a little bit up, I'd say more than what we're used to with a power glide. Can you see that there? And then a little bit down, which is also nice. We have blue eyes painted on. It almost looks like it's, uh, I can't exactly tell, but there's two different, there's differentiation, differentiation, that's a word, right? I don't know, what am I, an English teacher? Between the face and the face plate. So something there is definitely painted. And then we have the little accent there. And then we have this red. Now I had Pinkerton over from Roma Collectors last night. And we were looking at this guy. And I think, I can't tell though. I can't tell if this red is painted. The, like In some light, it looks painted to me, and then in other light, it looks like it's just a glossy plastic, but it feels, it feels painted. Let me, let me take a look in here. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I want to say, I want to say it is. I can tell it's painted in some places because the red is chipping off onto some of the pieces, and it's just chipping off from inside of the plastic, like from inside of the joints and stuff, so it doesn't really take away from the aesthetic of the figure either. So, I don't know. I can't really tell. But I, I think either way, it looks surprisingly good. Let's continue on. So we have this. We have his chest piece that opens up here to reveal his, his true heart. And the, we got some gunmetal paint in there. And they painted the inside of the door, which is nice. A waist swivel. So that's nice. And then we have the shoulders. We have these uh, shoulder pads, which do get up and out of the way a bit in order for you to adjust the arm, which is the way to do it. And then you can also get all the way around, so no issues there. We have a bicep swivel. And then we have a double jointed elbow getting you the full range. So that's nice. We have, this looks painted to me as well, this forearm piece. And then we have this gunmetal accents and silver accents painted on there. The inside of that forearm flap is painted. So it's a surprising amount of, of paint added to this guy and little detail pieces added that I wouldn't normally suspect. The shoulder pads are painted as well. So that looks good. The wrist is on a swivel and then the fingers are on a base pin knuckle and the trigger finger is individually articulated. Unfortunately, they all are on the curved look, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but you're pretty much limited to a relaxed pose or holding a gun or a fist, which is fine, just not optimal, I guess. All right, so we have these waist these hip flaps, they are tight, so be aware. But all of them get out of your way to reveal a universal joint here, which is a friction universal, but has no issue whatsoever keeping its position. All the way out to the side, all the way forward. You don't get, no, I'm sorry, not all the way forward, a little bit past 45 forward, but holds, holds like a champ. Thigh swivel, inside of the thigh is painted. We'll see why here shortly. And then we have a shin swivel, if that's your thing, which actually does come in handy. Uh, I've found sometimes with more dramatic poses on this guy, which is nice. Uh, let's see. And then we have a single hinged knee, but it gets you for, uh, 90 degrees. We have moving down. This has that metallic fleck look to it as well. 
And then we have silver paint here. We have the same red here, which to me looks like, it looks like it might be paint. But I've been tricked with this stuff before. Either way, it looks good. We have an ankle rocker. And we have a tilt back, no tilt forward. Uh, one other thing I want to mention here is uh, initially when I got him out and started looking at him, I was like, man, all these paint accents here, the blue, yellow, and red. I was like, man, he doesn't stand very well. These heel spurs, you have to angle them down. And that will allow you to stand him with no problem. Uh, so just be be advised there, you know. But yeah, it's... It's really a fun little figure. I think it, they did a really good job overall. I don't really have any complaints, and it definitely looks like Power Glide. Back of the figure cleans up like a champ. So, yeah, no real issues. Size comparison wise, there he is with my hodgepodge of season two mini bots. And I think he's actually one of my favorites. Uh, I think him and I, I think, I don't know, they look good together. I'm going to try to stand them up a bit straighter so you can kind of see how they all look, you know, when they're at attention, so to speak. So he's, he's a bit bigger than the rest, but it doesn't bother me. Uh, I think they look good. All right, let's get him transformed. So tuck around this face. That'll hide uh, the face in jet mode. And there's like just a couple things you got to do just to pr prepare this guy. Pull the chest out. Spin this around. Close that back up. Open the, we can put the hands away. You know, our favorite third party transformation. And to be fair, official as well. All right. Uh, the wings you can unclip from the back. It has these like two little hooks here, which is a pretty clever way of, of working that out. And then you can get his backpack out and ready. This piece goes on the back and the other piece comes around to the front. So in order to get that prepared, we need to rotate the paint here to the outside. And then I don't remember which way. I think you got to have the legs like this, but we'll try to stay oriented the best we can. All right. So this, and then I think Okay, I didn't have that. I didn't put that back in the last time. That's the peg where that pegs in. But I also, I want to take a moment for this. So you can have it like this, right, in robot mode, and it'll peg in there. Or you can just keep it collapsed, and it doesn't peg in, but it sits a little bit tighter up against the back of the leg. So, I don't know. Up to you. Close that up. Same frame for this side. Close that up. And then we want to open up these feet, you know, this uh, heel spur has got a tuck up inside there, and this is actually on a sliding pin. So, and they use this this kind of approach a lot with this guy, but it does work. So up in here, and then collapse it. It's the same thing they do for the head, like to connecting to the shoulders, works like a champ. All right, so move the tail fins out. So yeah, we wanna have it like this. And then we can rotate these down to the side. And there is a peg, but you got to pull it out there, so to speak. And then you just collapse this. Oh, no, no. See, I get ahead of myself. So this back plate has got to come down. And then this piece has got to come around to the bottom. And then the legs encapsulate it. And then you can tab everything together. And that's really like the, the most challenging part. And it's not really that challenging at all. It's just a bit challenging to do with a camera in front of you. All right. So we'll bring the wings down. They actually plug into the side here, right there. Make sure that that's collapsed. And rotate your hooks up, and they plug back into the wing. And then these, you want to plug this into this. So 
I think that makes you need to, let's see here. There we go. Come on, girl. There. And then the same for this side. Using the bicep swivel to kind of get the alignment that you need. All right. And that's basically it. And I think it works fairly well. You know, like this doesn't isn't quite right, but I think it's close enough. I don't have any real complaints about this. You got the little gun in the front. We have some landing gear. <clears throat> and shout out to Chris and I. We, we couldn't figure this out last night. I was able to figure it out this morning. Uh, but you got one landing gear here, which is inside of the heart bit. And then you have the back one. And it won't balance. It always leans to one side. And so we were like, that can't be right. It's not. There is another one here and here I would do wish these tabs tabbed in a bit better but that's about all I have to say so yeah now no issue I think they did a really good job there is some inconsistencies with the reds but I think that's because this red is painted I'm pretty sure it's painted because I feel like that's a little bit of paint on top of that flat red there I think it's painted. If it's if it's not painted, it's the best faux paint I've ever seen in my life. Far better than what we saw with say the X Transbot Cyclonus. You know, like this this if it's not painted, it really does look like paint. Let me get you a size comparison with you know who. So about the same size there. Yeah, I think this is uh it's pretty top shelf in my most humble well, let's be serious. I don't have a humble opinion, but in my most honest opinion, I think this is a pretty bang up job. This is the only thing that doesn't quite sit right with me, but I think for I think it's I think it's a an acceptable loss for how well everything else kind of works. And it's a fairly interesting, fun and straightforward uh, transformation. So you should be able to flip it back and forth. So, yeah, that's what a mini bot should be, in my opinion. And I just I don't really have a whole lot negative to say about it. Good job. Let me make sure that all this closes up well and I like it with the landing gear in. Let me make sure that's, there we go. Yeah, no complaints. I think they did a good job. Well done. Translucent plastic here for the cockpit. That's not what I would have chose to do, but other than that, everything, everything kind of works. Final thoughts wise, let's get into the negative. So, there are a few negatives here that we need to point out. One of which is, and I'm not sure if I, how much of a negative I feel it is, but I do feel like I need to point it out. I feel like if I don't point it out, I'm not being 100% straight up about it. And it may be just me, and, and I'm, I'm cool with that too. But, like there is that gap, so to speak, gents, between the wings and the torso, and I'm, I'm not sure if that's a bother. Like it, it didn't bother me at first, but it does bother me a little bit more the more I look at it, but it doesn't bother me enough not to buy it, because I'm in. So, but I wanted to point it out. Other than that, um, yikes, I, I wish that the uh, the heel spurs didn't have to, like, if he had a bit more of a rocker, like when you, his, his range, rocker-wise, is pretty much limited to that far apart, which isn't that bad, and I agree, but, he does have like a pretty fun action figure element to him that I feel like is, is often lost these days. But if you want to get him in like a more of an extreme pose, everything lends itself right to that pose with the exception of the rocker. Like that's the one thing where it kind of falls short. So you're kind of limited in that regard. Now for most people's displays, you know, because of space and stuff, you're not gonna be doing extreme poses and you won't have that much of a problem. But um, that's, that's the only other thing I would kind of mention. The other thing that I think I feel like I have to mention on this one is the price point. Like he is a bit steep for a mini bot. Um, luckily, I think, think they pulled out all the stops for this like he's got some weight to him 
I'm not sure if I'm not sure where it is, but he feels solid. Everything tabs together. I like the engineering. The sculpt is great. He's got a lot of line work and stuff. So like I think it's a really well done figure. I'd go so far to say it might be my favorite DX9 figure to date. Carrie's a tough one to beat for me personally. I just really like that figure, but this is really well done. So the price point is a bit too much to swallow, but I'm going to tell you like my opinion when it comes to price is if you're willing if you're willing to buy it for the way that it looks and then you enjoy it, the price was worth it. And I'm willing to buy it based on how it looks, and I think I'm going to enjoy it, so for me, it's worth it. I definitely give it a strong recommend. It makes me very excited to see what they're going to do with the Stunicons now, and, I, and Omega Supreme as well, because this is, this is a cut above where I've kind of seen a lot of their products. It looks really good. It's painted. At least it looks to me like it's painted. Yeah. Yeah, it's a strong recommend for me. I want to shout out GCI Toys one more time for giving me the opportunity to look at this. They don't have to do that. They've actually gotten themselves in a bit of a pickle in the past for doing it. So I want to make sure I give them a shout out. And I want to shout out Ryan for sending it to me. He knows who he is, Ryan E. So yeah, this is going off to Deluxe next. And mm, I got two phone calls from Bobby B. And I'm getting a Paraglide. Mm. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.